Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to my channel. In this video, I am going to locally install a glider which is a small language model that can act as a judge. I already have covered heaps of models on the channel which we have seen to be promising to be a judge when it comes to LLMs or RAG pipelines especially. Whenever you are running a RAG pipeline or a table augmented generation pipeline or you are using your AI powered application to generate responses from your models, especially the API based ones, you need something in between to make sure that before you pass on the response to the user, the response is vetted and evaluated on various rubrics as per your own business use case regulations or your business values or even a generic set of rubrics which can ensure that the response is safe for work. That is where these judge models act. I have seen that normally what people do, they generate a response from a model and then either they use Google's Gemini or OpenAI's GPT-4 or Anthropic's Cloud model to make sure the response is good, especially when they are using open source local models. That is where this Glider model is trying to help out. Glider is trying to be acting as a small language model. Now. What Glider does is it scores the responses of the LLM and not only that, it also explains the why behind the scoring too. For every evaluation, Glider returns a list of detailed reasons and automatically highlights the most critical phrases in AI outputs. As more and more AI products are hitting production environment and LLMs are being incorporated in applications, we normally see that real-time evaluation and guardrails are really, really critical because AI safety is real. That is where this glider is trying to help out. Now, there is a lot of other information which they have shared on the Hugging Face model card, which I will drop the link in video description. One of the prominent one is that it is a fine-tuned 5.3.5 mini instruct model and 5.3.5 from Microsoft is in itself a very, very good model. Now, you can use it as a general purpose evaluation model to judge texts, conversation, and RAG setups according to some arbitrary user-defined criteria and rubric scales. The model was trained using a combination of synthetic and domain adapted data from popular data sets like FinQA, Real Toxicity, and the list goes on and on and on. Also, um, primarily it deals in English, but also supports other languages like Hindi, Bengali, Korean, Russian, Thai, Arabic, German, Indonesian, Spanish, Ukrainian, and uh, Kazakh language, which is quite important that uh, not many models support Central Asian languages. So really cool to see that it supports Kazakh language, which is a language from Kazakhstan. Okay, so enough talk. Let me show you how you can install it and we will also try it out on one of the prompt uh, with rubric. And before that, let me give a huge thanks to our good friends at Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on range of GPU, so do check them out. This is my Ubuntu system and this is my GPU card, NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let's quickly create a virtual environment with Conda. And now let me install all the libraries which include Torch, Transformers and Accelerate. And now let me launch my Jupyter Notebook. And now let's download the model. And I'm simply using this hugging face pipeline with some of the hyper parameters to control output, putting it on the CUDA device, which is my GPU. And we will just be using it for text generation. So let's do it. And the model is being downloaded. The size seems similar to what we have in 5.3.5 uh, model because it is a fine tuned of it. Let's wait for it to get downloaded. And the model is downloaded. Let me show you the inference, which is the actual um, claim of fame of this model. So let me try to first explain the prompt, which you can see is quite long. 
Now remember what we are trying to do here, we are using this model as a judge where we are providing it a criteria and then we are asking it to evaluate our the response of the model or response of any um, rag pipeline or a text on the basis of some criteria which is called as rubric. If you don't know what rubric is, rubric is a scoring guide which is primarily used to evaluate the quality of a performance of a model. It is a detailed criterion reference assessment tool that outlines the expectation and standards for a particular task or assignment and that is what we are doing here. So if you start reading this prompt, it says analyze the following past criteria carefully and score the text based on rubric detail below. The first is understand the text tag, review the finer detail, compare the tags, play, uh, pay close attention to small detail, write a detailed reasoning and it is quite a detailed set of instructions we are giving it and then this is the data we wanted to evaluate and the data is simply system prompt which is a prompt from AI user prompt which is primarily from the actual you know uh, text from the user so system prompt is user is asking for a refund for a delayed flight and what user is saying here is hi my flight was delayed by five hours and I, I would like a refund can you help me and then this is the assistance reply now this is all coming from some other pipeline or model, right? Now this past criteria is that this uh, glider model is going to judge above reply on this criteria that has assistant acknowledged the user concern, has assistant clearly explained the refund policy and has assistant offered alternative solutions. And this is where the rubric is where we are scoring it on the basis of the above criteria and evaluation. And then this is we are also telling the model to give us the response in this format and then other uh, stuff is the usual stuff where we are encapsulating in in this chat template we are piping it through to the model where tokenizer is going to convert the above into numerical representation and then model is going to generate it and then um, tokenizer is going to decode it and we are printing out the response and that is what is happening here so let me run it and there you go look at the response of the model not only it has given us the scores but also the highlight and the reasoning now if you carefully slice and dice this the model has really provided detailed reasoning for its evaluation highlighting the strength and weaknesses of the assistance response or the model's response so it has done acknowledgement and apology where it has acknowledged the user's concern that is correct it has also done the clear explanation because assistant has clearly explained the refund policy and then but the third one is that lack of alternative solution but assistant has failed to offer alternative solutions such as voucher or partial refund which is required for a perfect score and the perfect score is if you go up five so that is why the score is three here as you can see in the output so the score indicates that assistance response partially meets the past criteria but lacks some assist essential elements such as offering alternative solution so overall the model's response provide a clear and detailed evaluation of a assistant response which really highlights its uh, strength here and that is what this model is all about so i hope that this was useful let me know what do you think about this glider model i'm quite impressed by it especially given the size of it but of course real test comes when we actually use it in the production environment if you are already using any model as a judge try this one out let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching